This past summer, we were coming back from vacation. Ten minutes, packed up, and we're going ten minutes. Come to a red light. As I'm at the red light, I look out the window. There's a brand new pickup truck right next to me. I'm like, oh. And then I look in the back. There's a beautiful golden retriever with a head out the window. I'm like, oh, cool dog. And in the back, brand new Harley Davidson chrome package. The guy looked over. I'm just like, oh, because that's what we do. We do. And he looked over at me, and he kind of hung uh, back and kind of laughed. And I was like, what is he laughing at? And then it dawned on me, I'm in a minivan. <laughs> it is impossible to look cool in a minivan. And I'm not buying really cool toys for thousands of dollars. I'm spending hundreds of dollars on things you don't call your friends about. I don't go, hey, Rob, come over. I've got a new water heater. <laughs> no, we'll wash our hands. It'll be great. You don't do that. And I'm just so I started to distract myself. I kind of fiddled with the mirror and I saw I saw something I have never seen before in my life. On the top of my ear, there is a hair <laughs> growing straight out. It's like this long. That's not the bad part. I looked at my wife. I said, Heather, look at this. Her response, oh yeah, I saw that the other day. <laughs> what? You thought I wanted that there? <laughs> Braid it with the others, make a little ponytail or something? <laughs> that was interrupted by my two boys in the back fighting over who gets to pick the movie and who gets the electronic Ridlin. And <laughs> that was interrupted by them going, Daddy, Kennedy smells bad. And sure enough, the smell waves forward, and I'm thinking, 10 minutes. We've been on the road 10 minutes. Why not 10 minutes ago? Why not 10 minutes from now? And if you are a dad, you know what I was doing. I'm calculating how far can I go focused without having to stop before the smell burns my eyes shut. <laughs> that is interrupted by my dog discovering the other dog and begin to barking at that dog. I call him a dog. I wanted a dog. My wife said, let's get a dog. And I'm like, yeah. I'm thinking German Shepherd Golden Dude. We have a 12-year-old, four and a half pound Yorkshire Terrier. It's like having a barking hamster. The only thing dog size on my dog is his tongue. He has a, if you took a German Shepherd tongue, grafted it to a gerbil, that's what I've got. He falls asleep, the drool spot is bigger than he is. <laughs> and the light turned green, and we began to go. And as we drove off, it was as if this voice came to my head, Ken, if you could switch right now, if you could choose, if you could choose right now, you could choose the new truck and the new dog and the cool motorcycle, or you can keep the minivan and the wife that leaves you hanging and the kids in the back of the smell of the barking hamster. <laughs> Which do you want? I gotta tell you, 10 times out of 10, I would choose the minivan. Because I have found more joy and more purpose and more fulfillment and more comedy material in the <laughs> minivan.